What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and you have no idea how hard I had to press to get this interview. I had to go through so many different phone calls, through so many different connects, but I got the world famous father of Treeb in the building, Dad. Happy Father's Day. How are you doing? doing great trevin <laughs> wasn't so many calls it was there's there's it was a lot of a few I had, texts i had to haggle with your agent for a yeah, while in order yeah. to get yeah, to, yeah you know uh mom your agent she was really pushing you on to the show thought it'd be good for your ebay business yeah <laughs> <laughs> so this is my dad i thought it'd be good for a father's day special to give you guys a little conversational podcast um with my dad so let's see <laughs> One thing I like to talk about on my YouTube channel quite a bit is my older YouTube videos from when I was way young and when I was a juggalo and things like that. Mm -hmm. Now, when those view when those videos got out of control and people were commenting down below hateful things, what was going through your head? Were you like, Trevin, you need to delete these and I wasn't allowing it? Or what was going on with that? I don't think I was so happy with the juggalo thing. The juggalo, <laughs> but yeah. the the juggalo thing saved my life because you always said I'm not going to buy you any insane clown posse stuff because you'll regret it later in life. Correct. <laughs> and that's where and that's where I'm at now. Yeah. I don't think I ever read any of the comments. Do you remember? I don't know if you'll remember this one, but I made a video about how much I hate John Cena. When I was like six years old, I probably watched it. But I never seen and read the comments. So. And I was wearing a John Cena shirt when I made it. <laughs> <laughs> he made he made the YouTube channel back in the day when, because YouTube just started popping off like when you made it. It was like 2007 or something. And me and when I made all oh, the action figure ones. Yeah, yeah. When and you the trucks and the stop action ones. Yeah, the, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I probably I watched that one. So what? Why did you? What was kind of the theory behind the YouTube channel? I don't even remember. Did I want to make the YouTube channel, or was that kind of like your thing? You must have, because all I've ever, I've never had a YouTube channel. Yeah. I still don't. I don't really. Not my own podcast, but I don't even <laughs> have a sign in really. I just use whatever comes up. Yeah, and then just watch Tree Talks. Yeah. Tree Talks. <laughs> Every week. Every week. Every day. Yep. Six days a week. Ain't nobody at work me. Then yeah. straight facts. See how many F bombs he's going to drop today. Or something. <laughs> yeah. I, I just make you proud, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Be a little more professional. <laughs> my, my professionalism has, has definitely been one of my uh, downfalls on the podcast. I'd use it more as an audition tape, is my opinion. You think? Mm -hmm. Well, you see, that's why I have my work that is completely separate. From you still hear when people interview for jobs that the employers check the Facebook page. I'm sure if they find a job true. you were to apply, they're probably going to look at your YouTube and they're going to see all these things. But Wise words from uh, Pop. Can I can I say your name on here? Or do I have to call you Papa Tree? <laughs> <Nah. laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not be Papa Tree. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy tree. Daddy tree. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let's see. You listen to podcasts, don't you? I do. What are What are some of your favorite podcasts to listen to besides Treeb Talks? Because I know that's number one. The Yee Yee Lifestyle. I know that's yeah. your favorite. Yeah. Yeah. See what you've been up to that I never knew about. Uh, <laughs> I like Rogan. Of course. Uh, Burt Cast has been my yeah. lately go to. I've been listening to him a lot i can't uh, do bert man he's just he's too like he's uh, not even funny he just takes his sh funny. he just takes his shirt off and it's like ah oh, i go to parties he's and funny um probably because he talks about more family kids things that i kind of identify with but, yeah like i can see that but uh yeah jocko Choc i don't know jocko willing he's my i listen that? to him quite a bit the ex navy seal guy oh really talks about yeah Listen to him. I don't know a lot of motivational stuff. Probably Les Brown. Mm -hmm. Listen to him a lot. So obviously, you just recently got a new job, but you've been doing this eBay shit forever. Mm -hmm. Now, what is uh, what is your store called? What do you do? What do you sell? And how long have you been doing it? Uh, 
uh, this eBay store store name is Sally Ferguson's, which is without like, an apostrophe, which is a perfect name. Like I don't even that's the perfect thrift store name you could ever come up with, <laughs> yeah. Sally Ferguson's. That's a great but name. The username was under back when I thought I'd get your brother into selling stuff on eBay. Yeah, as Trey Sales is the eBay name, but the store name Sally Ferguson's, but. Uh, Trey wasn't too into it, so no, I kind of no. carry. It's on. hard to get Trey really into much for a yeah. long period of time, yeah. unless it's not Madden. So I had an old one. I had an old eBay store, but then I kind of just carried on with that one, and I've been doing that for. This is my third year, probably. Busting down on eBay, this guy, and I'm telling you right now, when I was in high school, my, I would say my work ethic was shit, and I didn't have the best work ethic but when I got out of high school I started working and I started chasing after my dreams all that comes from this guy and the fact that and there's Chica in the Chica. background let's talk about Chica for a little bit how, how fat did you let this chihuahua get dad uh, 23 pounds but she's down to 22.8 as of last week although we've been slipping her more ice cream licks than we shouldn't so she probably gained about <laughs> this week that's about the most realistic Pixley diet I've ever heard. <laughs> we'll we'll go on we'll go on walks and we'll we'll lose the weight, but then we'll come home and be like, oh, we got chocolate ice cream in the <laughs> freezer. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got it. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, or like you just go outside and shoot hoops for hours, yeah. and then come inside I'm and I gotta go to McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's one habit that I will say that you gave me that was was not the best. That's what we're doing today. It's like, ah, oh, it's Father's Day. I need Papa Murphy. <laughs> it is your day, though. Yeah. And the only thing that I could not let you get oh. away with was not doing this podcast. Uh, although yesterday, I mowed the lawn. I'm like, ah, oh, I think Chica feels like she needs a cheeseburger. We better go to Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to Wendy's. So she probably, uh, she probably... Gain point two pounds. Well, week. I mean, I'm sure. Did, so, when you go to Wendy's to get Chica a cheeseburger, do you actually get Chica her own personal cheeseburger, or does yeah. she eat? Oh, she got two cheeseburgers. <laughs> Plain. She don't eat the veggies. She. Oh yeah, she of gets course two not. Junior cheeseburgers. She don't do the bread. I just give her the meat. But we used to go take her to Dairy Queen, and sometimes I give her a pup cup. To get her own little dish of ice cream. Well, that's what I was gonna ask. Did when you go places, how often do they ask if your dog wants a treat? Uh, Wendy's didn't, but Arby's does all the time. Oh, okay. I was going to say, if you never get that, it's because she's an ugly dog. No. Because <laughs> Keystone yeah. gets the love all the time. Mm-hmm. Keystone. I get it, too. Yeah. Not only such a cute dog, but, yeah. That's, that's what you'd take Keystone to get food so you can get an extra cheeseburger in your bag. <laughs> yeah, I took her yesterday, but it was way too hot. About halfway to Wendy's, her tongue was already looking like a cook pizza ham hanging out and she's hogging the air conditioner it was she, hot as hades yesterday mm-hmm. i went frisbee golfing and it was just yeah, I was like, I don't way I too hot the when you say i don't know but I don't know. well i i know i know i don't really blame you so much if you mowed the lawn before you because no. yeah. i wouldn't want to do that either yeah. now okay let's see father's day what is your best fatherly memory of trevin pixley troop talks <sighs> okay, well, how about this? We'll get three different categories. What made you the most proud? What made you the most pissed? And what made you laugh the most? Mm. Uh, I, well, I know the most pissed one, but I don't know exact. I can't remember the reason. Okay. But I remember, I don't know, was it grade school still? I, I don't remember, but when you got pissed off and you was like I'm leaving and I said don't ever come back <laughs> how old were you then I was like 12 12 <laughs> what was the problem what was the fight I don't, I don't even know we just well it was because it was because me and Trey were freaking sheltered fucking shits so anytime we didn't get our way or I, don't I probably even, didn't do something I asked you to do yeah that's exactly what it was, what it was because my <laughs> you he's he's the best dad you could ever ask for but he as far as staying on top of punishments, he was not the best at that. I, I remember when I was 15, you made me sign a contract that said, 
you had to do this, you had to do this, and you need to move out in two years. Yep. And I it maybe lasted like a week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you probably moved out on time. I did. Yeah, I think I did move out but on time. But you didn't do anything. No, okay. no, no. But yeah. And same with that. When you were in the baseball and I wrote the big contract, we were going to do this every day and yeah. that and every day. This was the, this is what we are going to do. But then I think I think that and mom didn't like going to baseball games either. <laughs> so we just kind of we didn't do that too much. The most pissed I've been at you was probably senior year. Oh, I already. Just, just, I already. <laughs> just got done losing my match at state to place. I'm cry. I'm you know it's an emotional time. Wrestling was a good good part of my life. I go up to my dad, puts his hand on my shoulder, and goes, "Well, you always got next year." <laughs> I'm just trying to lighten the mood. It's trying to be a joke. <laughs> I could laugh at it now, but I was so pissed when that when you first said that. Probably my timing wasn't better, but I, was also, I had to think of that. I thought it was like I got to lighten the mood a little bit. Yeah, that probably didn't work. What about most proud? Um, probably, probably senior year, probably football when you played in Pocatello the first game of the year. Oh, yeah. And the big expectations were you were going to start, you were going to be starting an offensive line, and then right before the game, it's like... I got yeah, it. no. I even like, got introduced in the starting lineup. Yeah. Like, that's how close of a decision like, it was. It's like, what the hell? Yeah. Especially after traveling eight hours or whatever yeah. it was. Slept in our... No, that was the wrestling thing. Uh, yeah. 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 But, uh, yeah, so that was kind of disappointing. But then to get in there and uh, on defense, as it yeah. was, and then whatever, make that guy fumble. And yeah. Got it, I think, kind of got into the momentum of the game. And yeah, shift. Yeah, I think uh, I, I think if that wouldn't have happened, if you wouldn't have been in there and stuff, and I don't think I would have been as emotional. But I think by the time I thought, well, this is okay now, I think then I about lost my voice, I think, after yeah. the game because it was, that was a good game. That was, it was. That was a good one. Against Highland. Mm-hmm. We, we always had, we had great games against Highland and Coeur d'Alene that year. Coeur d'Alene was a good one. Yeah. I mean, it could have been, that football season could have been way worse. I could have just got no playing time at all. But, I mean, being a rotational defensive end wasn't too bad. Yeah. Let's see, the most proud I've been of you. Oh, boy. When you decided to have me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, most proud I've ever been of you. It's going to sound cheesy, but I'm fucking, there's not really, like, a distinct moment I can say I'm proud of you. But, like, I'm proud of, like, the way you carry yourself and your work ethics i think it's very motivational to me knowing that you work at like 7 a.m but you do your side because like four now yeah four yeah four a.m you work at four a.m i get up at four a.m every day well no no like i mean not work work. well that's what i'm that's what i was sally ferguson that's what i was leading into yeah so like you work work at seven and then you do your side hustle at four a.m and like even before that when you were working uh where you were working before i mean you were still like working hard on that side hustle and i think that watching you do the ebay shit motivated me to do the youtube shit and to get a handle on that so probably you know without you doing the ebay stuff there's no tree talks so like i mean we're different in that way because you're more of a youtuber i'm more of a ebayer yeah but because you tried to work for me for i was gonna pay it to work for me (laughs) ebay but that didn't last very long either dude it's so boring (laughs) just listing shit well you can do the you can go on a site called Upwork and say that you need people to list shit for you. I know, but I don't trust them because then you got to give. Them, you still got to take the pictures. Yeah. That was just time, and then you got to. Then you probably got to give them access to your account. I just I'm not to that point where I trust whoever. Yeah. All right, and last one, most happy. Did you guys do that one? We did proud. I don't know what's it. It was happy, proud, too similar. What's a, what's another good? Well, it was pissed, and it was happy. Happy, pissed, happy, proud, proud, and. Pissed. What else was it? Was it happy? It was happy, proud, and pissed, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> I can't... I can't think of a... Oh, note. probably... I don't know why this. I was thinking this the other day. And I don't... We're at your brother's flag football practice at Whitman or Webster or whatever it was. Yeah. And so, what, that was probably... 
fourth grade, third grade? That was prior to, like, so yeah, probably third or fourth grade. Put you like what first kindergarten maybe? Yeah. Because I remember you were like a, you were a stocky little stubby. Yeah. Kid As back I then, and then uh, so I'm out there and I'm watching trades practice and and you're over in the playground area in the gravel and there's some bigger kid probably Trey's age or whatever. And, you know, on the top of the slide or something, or you want to go down, and the kid is like either throwing rocks at you or whatever, saying you can't get over there. So you come over to me, say, <laughs> "Hey, this kid won't let me over here." Or I'm like, or he's kicking rocks at me or whatever. I'm like, I'm like, well, go over there and do it anyways, and kick the rocks back at him. Tell him he don't, he's not in charge or something like that. And that, not that you would, but then I was watching, and you go marching over there. <laughs> I think you were wearing your little blue sweatsuit or whatever you were. I think you go there, and I was like, to see you standing in front of this kid, and because there was loose gravel, and you're like, kicking rocks at him, <laughs> kicking rocks at him in his face, and you kind of had your hands on your hips, like, My motherfucker, this is it. I'm gonna get on this slide. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see that. It's okay. But uh, so, and then that kid kind of just backed off. I'm like, okay, well, this is good. Because you stood up and just like all the movies, I think you just call her bluff and it kind of went away. Like, yeah. To me thinking, I was after I told you that, I'm like, oh, it could go either way. You can get your <laughs> face shoved in the gravel by this kid or, or whatever. So, but it worked out, I think. Dad, the only person that ever hurt me in my younger years and sent me to the hospital. <laughs> Yeah. What's the, yeah. What's but doing you? what? Doing what? <laughs> by res by wrestling around because that was the thing. We were no, in the because then we were in my bed. Yeah. I mean, doing the was the leg lifts or the leg boosts or whatever. Leg drops or whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna go up and I push you like the little push you off. Yeah. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. hucked me off the bed. <laughs> sprained my bed. Ar- sprained my arm. Yeah. <laughs> off the end of the bed. Shot you a little too far. Thing. Mom, mom's all before we go to the hospital pep talking me for what I gotta say to the doctor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tell me your dad didn't beat you. <laughs> oh God, I think you know the happiest I ever been is the fact that you know you took us on so many trips. Like it was never, it was never, it was never boring. You know what I mean? Like I mean, we may have gone to the same places, but like they were all things I wanted to do. Like I mean, you. You took me to see my favorite rapper, and you like you'd go to all of these rap shows. Yeah. Like you'd go. He's been to Hobson. He's been to Tech Nine. He's been to Macklemore, Mac Nine. Miller. We we'll stayed longer in Tech Nine, but your mom we didn't <laughs> want to stand around because we didn't have the good seats we did at Hobson. Yeah. Hobson, we had seats, and we were right by the bar, and it was all right. Tech Nine, there was no seats. Nah, it's Tech Nine freaking sells out. It was hot as shit. Yeah. But we just waited across the street. We could still kind of hear it. Yeah, and that and uh, what else? I mean, the Vegas trip was dope because I mean, went to Vegas, and like I'll never forget the whole fucking drive from fucking California back to Lewiston. That sucked ass. That's long. <laughs> and you did the whole thing, so I mean, like, <laughs> that's what fathers do. So, before we end this podcast, it's actually eighteen minutes. Oh, deep. another piss story. Oh, yeah, what's up? As you were little, when we went fishing at Elk River. Oh God, I already know and, what this and is. You didn't. You got bored of fishing, you were younger or whatever, so we're out fishing. We're at the campground, parked in the Taurus, in the middle of nowhere. And then Trevin's playing with his Power Rangers in the back seat. And then he decides to lock the doors on us. And the keys are inside, and you're locked in. It's probably like 80 degrees. Probably the windows aren't even cracked. I'm trying to explain to you, Trevin, you got to hit this button. Unlock the door. (laughs) So it took about an hour. It's like, Trevin! Fine. Finally, you could be distracted enough from what you're playing with to hit the button. So I thought, oh, we're going to be here. You got nobody to call. That would be four cell phones, per se. Yeah. Oh, it's like, what do we got to do? And it's like, ah. So from then on, I think I got a good habit of bringing the keys with me now from it. So that's true. <laughs> but we're out of town. All right. Okay. So to wrap this up, I want to say happy Father's Day. You're the best father. Dad, anybody could ever ask for. Thank you oh. for everything you've ever done for me. And like I said, if it wasn't for this YouTube shit, I mean, I would. If it wasn't for my dad, I wouldn't be doing this YouTube shit because for one, he's the one that gave me an account back in 2007. Yeah. 
you're the wild person that decided to give a freaking how oh, an eight year old a YouTube account. <laughs> but yeah, what else did I get? Oh, I got I got the laptop I use now. Yeah, because you said you want to do YouTube. Got you the laptop and a speaker deal. Your old yeah. one. Yeah, my yeah. I set you up. Yeah, you bought me this editing software. Yeah. You, you bought me everything. You you went Jeez. all in a year ago. Jeez, I am awesome. Yeah, you are the best. <laughs> any any parting words? Any fatherly advice to new fathers out there? <laughs> uh, I don't know about. Uh, the only thing I say is they they will be teenagers eventually. <laughs> And that's when the fun begins, <laughs> and they and they kind of don't like you anymore for a while, <laughs> and the secrets happen. Yeah. Oh, another piss one. Right? Oh, right. God. Remember, uh, you uh, we left for the weekend, like oh, oh no parties Jesus or whatever. Christ. Oh yeah, I didn't have no party. You had it pretty cleaned up, but then who has a party with all their friends and stuff at your house? And then hey, we got all the beer bottles and evidence in the cans. Let's put it in our own trash can. No, Dad will never open our own trash can and not take it to Liberty Mart down the street and get rid of the evidence. Well, and you come up and she's like, your garbage can is like full of beer bottles. Like, oh, did you have already? Oh, no. Are you sure? You see, you, I moved out now so I can admit these stories. <laughs> see, you gave me the Liberty Mart idea. So so I don't think you <laughs> fucked up by telling me the Liberty oh, Mart idea. Well, because, we did... <laughs> because we had multiple more parties when you, you guys left. I bet you did. Yeah. When you guys would go dumpster diving in Spokane, we'd just <laughs> oh, yeah. we'd be partying in the garage. <laughs> oh, did we, we went quarterly. Yeah. All righty, guys. Um, the only thing. Oh, oh what do you got? Go ahead. Uh, uh, remember the eBay store, Sally Ferguson's. Yeah. Instagram at Sally Ferguson's. Poshmark at Sally Ferguson's. There Men's and women's clothing. At That's Sally Ferguson's. Ferguson's. At Sally Ferguson's. Yeah, we have a whole basement of inventory out here waiting to be sold. So hopefully all 12 of the viewers signed up. <laughs> well, dude, that's, it was funny because, like, my last podcast I did, the guy said that it wasn't going to get a lot of views, but it's at, like, 200 now. I uploaded uh-huh. it yesterday. But right. I, I think a Father's Day special yeah. deserves a click. So. Yeah. Leave a, leave a message saying you've seen Treep Talks, so I'll give you 10% off. Yeah, you go to... Okay, all right. Use my promo code Treep Talks at <laughs> Sally Ferguson at checkout and you get 10% off. <laughs> Anyway, guys, make sure, if you haven't already, you can hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. You can also check the links down below. You can like me on Facebook, at Treep Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Treep Talks. Or follow me on Instagram, at Trey Vaughn Pixley. All of Sally Ferguson's links will be down below. Thank you for joining me on this Father's Day podcast with my dad, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.